Hello grade 10s and welcome to this lesson on working with plans. In today's lesson we are going to show you how to use scale in calculating the actual size of objects in plans and how to draw 2D scaled floor and elevation plans. To determine the actual length of an object shown on a plan, you need to know the scale of the plan and the length of the object on the plan. The scale of the plan is written somewhere on the plan either as a number scale or as a bar scale. The scale of this plan is a number scale and is 1 to 20. This means that every centimeter on the plan represents 20 centimeters in real life. Let's calculate the real length of the table in the plan. To do this, we need a ruler marked in millimeters. This will give us a greater degree of accuracy. Using a ruler, we measure the length of the table on the plan. The length of the table on the plan is 60 millimeters. Now we need to convert this measurement to the real life measurement. Plan to real world is to the scale of 1 to 20. This means that the actual length of the table is calculated by multiplying the measured length of 60 millimeters by 20. Therefore, the actual length of the table is 1,200 millimeters. This is equal to 1,2 meters. This method should be used when you need to find the actual length of an object and have a diagram and scale of the object. Now let's look at how we determine the scale of a plan that has already been drawn. To do this, we need to know the size of an object on the plan and its size in real life. In the diagram, the actual sizes are given. To find the scale factor, we just need to compare one of these given measurements to the size of the object in the diagram. The real length of the bed is 2 meters. Let's use our ruler to measure the length of it in the diagram. The bed is 40 millimeters in this plan. We will now use both of these measurements to calculate the scale factor. The length of the bed is 40 millimeters in the diagram and the actual length is 2 meters which is equal to 2,000 millimeters. We divide the actual size of 2,000 millimeters by the diagram size of 40 millimeters. This gives us an answer of 50. This means that the sketch of the bed is 50 times smaller than the real bed. Let's check our answer by doing this calculation with another measurement on the diagram. Measuring the width of the room on the drawing, we get a measurement of 7 centimeters. The actual distance is marked as 3,5 meters. Again, we need both the measurements to be in the same unit. This means that the diagram width is 7 centimeters and the actual width is 350 centimeters. We divide the actual width of 350 centimeters by the diagram width of 7 centimeters and get 50. We can thus conclude that the diagram is 50 times smaller than the actual size. We write this down as the scale being 1 to 50. Let's look at how we decide on a scale with which to draw a plan. This classroom has a length of 8,75 meters and a breadth of 7,8 meters. We want to draw a plan of this classroom on an A4 sheet of paper. Before we do that, we need to convert the measurements of the classroom into millimeters. To convert meters to millimeters, we multiply the measurements by 1000. The new dimensions are now 8750 millimeters by 7800 millimeters. Now we need to examine the size of our paper. The dimensions of the paper will determine the size of our drawing. We are going to draw our classroom in a block, measuring 270 millimeters by 190 millimeters. 
We now need to determine the possible scale factors we could use to fit the classroom into this space. To determine the first possible scale factor, we divide the length of the block by the length of the classroom and this equals 0, 0,03. To determine the second possible scale factor, we divide the size of the width of the block by the width of the classroom and this equals 0, 0,024. Now that we have both possible scale factors, we need to choose one. We should always choose the bigger one and in this case, it's 0,03. Now we multiply the length of the classroom by 0,03 to get 262,5 millimeters. The breadth is multiplied by 0,03 to give you 234 millimeters. This means that the dimensions we will draw the classroom with are 262,5 millimeters by 234 millimeters. This brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Maps, Plans and Models tasks video. You will also be able to learn more on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.